We got a city in the United States about to run out of drinking water. We got the French running out of mustard and the United States is running out of chocolate. Plus a whole bunch of reports coming from you guys um, from out there about what's happening at your workplaces um, and what shortages are developing in companies and such. Let's jump right into it, folks. Uh, the city of Las Vegas, not the city of Las Vegas, Nevada, but the Las Vegas New Mexico. Um, they are now declaring an emergency because they only have 50 days of drinking water remaining. Um, due to a wildfire in the area and then the uh, flooding uh, that has stripped a lot of the ash and debris into the river, they are unable to pull water out of the river, which is where they get all their drinking water from, into their reservoirs. They have 50 days worth of water in their reservoirs at current consumption. This is a state of emergency there. They are pursuing avenues to get more drinking water, but uh, the clock is ticking for them. That's the Hermit's Peak Fire and the Calf Canyon Fire uh, that merged, both of which were started as uh, um, by the U.S. government. But we won't get into that. Uh, they were attempting to do um, uh, control burns, and both those control burns got out of control and turned into one of the largest wildfires in New Mexico state history. All right, let's jump into this. Uh, a local government health inspector has this to say. Uh, restaurants. Owner of a restaurant I inspect can't get plastic cup lids. Costs of food like chicken uh, have doubled in costs, and sometimes they can't get delivered in time. And basic maintenance costs like cleaning vents on the vent uh, hood have also increased. They might not keep uh, this location open next year. Other small business restaurant owners I've talked to have also mentioned potentially closing next year due to increased costs of operation. Pools. This year, more local pools decided to stay closed for pool season. Chlorine costs have doubled. One pool uh, used to buy uh, liquid chlorine to maintain his uh, acid levels. This year, his supplier has none for him, so he's switched back to chlorine tablets. Work supplies. My local Red Wing doesn't make women's work boots anymore. I wear their boots for work every day. I'll need to replace them one day. Uh, I'm doing what I can to take good care of what work boots I do have. Folks, uh, we're having a lot of product lines out there dropping uh, some of their business uh, on the side and stuff like that. So some products are becoming harder to find. Budget. My healthcare costs will increase by 5% next year. Definitely can't afford to get sick. Uh, the city I work for is uh, over budget by about $8 million. We'll see what gets, uh, uh, what gets cut in the upcoming budget meetings. Taxes can't raise too much as uh, property taxes are already more than last year's uh, prior ones. Fleet is taking work cars out, uh, out of operation uh, if they're being used a lot. All right. Um, Another person has this to say, uh, my, my lender's company, FGMC, shut its residential mortgage branch, uh, laying off all of its lenders. So they sc uh, they're scrambling to find a new company to work for. Immediately following that, my brokerage just lost our office. The people subletting it to us defaulted on their payment. The owner of the company lost 80000 uh, and the brand he built over the past seven years. To remedy this quickly, we are merging with another company. My mom owns a hearing aid company. The property management group came in and kicked her out, even though she prepaid multiple months in advance. I think the commercial real estate market will be hit hardest first, uh, then it will trickle to residential. I'm a realtor. We've seen a massive decrease in home sales over the last two months, primarily from increased costs for food, water, gas, power, etc., and the Fed hiking up interest rates to slow inflation, uh, which inherently has priced out everyone who is counting on low interest rates and, uh, and high home prices to balance it out. Um, now it's high interest rates and uh, high prices. Heavy Nettles says, my community has had two major water issues this past year. We're currently under a water restriction due to contamination at a lift station. The issue we are experiencing right now uh, was supposed to be fixed by the 16th, but it was still ongoing. It's mind blowing to me that they did a massive investigation after the first incident that cost our community $600,000 to fix. Yet here we are again. 
They clearly didn't learn much, but I uh, majorly upped our uh, water preps. Uh, we are being mandated by the government to upgrade, replace our white, uh, wastewater facility, and uh, monthly prices are expected to be $30, $40 uh, more per average household, rising gradually over the next two years. This pricing increase was decided uh, on before the um, cough cough, and the construction is just starting. I highly doubt we will be uh, within budget by completion. At this point, I just hope it gets completed at all. Um, Water and waste management is one of those things that we don't give much thought to in the first world countries, but we definitely need to start paying more attention. Clearly, these systems are much more fragile uh, than expected. Uh, another, um, Laurie S. says, uh, My husband and I went to Walmart here in central New Jersey today. I was shocked to see that the canned bean section has, its, has a small 10-foot wide area, and even that was sparse. Normally, the canned bean section is well stocked and spans at least double that shelf space. They had just 25 cans of pinto beans left. Five cans were dented, so we bought the other 20. Uh, other types of beans were also sparse. The frozen section uh, had lots of empty shelves. Meats were thinly stocked, hardly any cream cheese. Gatorade area uh, had just a few uh, packs of bottles and the rest of the shelves were empty. Also in Target and in Dollar Tree, I have noticed that the stores uh, feel very spacious. Recently, there are fewer display racks and the shelves in uh, both stores have lots of gaps and items there in small quantities. Stock up, folks. Uh, Austrian supermarket chain is preparing for blackouts. Uh, this supermarket chain, Spar, is getting ready for blackouts, gas shortages, and riots and civil dis disturbances uh, per both their internal memos and their public statements. So they are now saying that, uh, that employees, if they feel it's too dangerous to come to work, that they will not have any consequences for not coming to work uh, if things get bad. Uh, once again, uh, France is suffering a mustard shortage. We've talked about this before, and it is trickling down, but must uh, mustard in France is starting to be rationed. Uh, so uh, some of the articles here are talking about how um, in local towns they're rationing uh, people to just one jar of mustard because uh, they're running out. And that is, of course, tied back to bad harvests over in Canada, uh, where a lot of it comes from. And... Uh, very applicable to a lot of Americans, even though I can't stand the stuff. Uh, Hershey's is saying that um, as the fifth largest chocolate producer uh, candy company in the world, uh, they are saying that they may not have enough uh, chocolate for Halloween and Christmas because they can't get a lot of raw ingredients um, and there's just insufficient supply. So uh, they can't get cocoa edible oil and other food ingredients and they are, this is pinching their production lines and they are behind schedule uh, on their Halloween candies and uh, they think that this is going to continue and they're not going to be able to get the uh, um, Christmas candies out uh, on a regular schedule as well. Uh, notice once again that we're talking about edible oil. So we're talking about palm oil um, and uh, other uh, seed oils and stuff like that probably uh, that they use in their uh, chocolates and other candies. So those are the news items that I have out there for you. Please do keep your reports coming of what you're seeing. If you're seeing something firsthand at your workplace, uh, please do pass that along. Um, if you are seeing uh, stuff on your store shelves please pop those in the comments down below as well all right guys um, if you like this video you might want to check out this video right here otherwise i will see you later steve poplar out